one of the stories that we look at in the changing dynamic of society. You know, 19, early 1950s, we had Admiral, well, at the time he was Lieutenant or Lieutenant Junior Grade Sam Gravely, Samuel L. Gravely, ended up becoming the first African American Admiral in the U.S. Navy, became the first African American um, to command a warship, to command a warship in combat. I mean, this guy was a trendsetter. He broke through the barriers of society. And his duty station on board her, here in the early 50s was a radio officer. Okay? This was a very evolving society and country at that point. That was a big deal. I think he may have been, well, he was the only African-American officer, I think, on the ship, and he may have been one of very few in the Navy at the time. And so one of the stories that I've heard from his wife was the, the officers' wives were getting together for a wives' luncheon in the wardroom. And she showed up. I think it's Virginia, gravely. I, I don't have it offhand, but his wife shows up, walks in, in the door of the wardroom, and everybody looks at her. And of course, can you imagine being in her shoes? And the commanding officer's wife stood up and said, you're sitting with me today. And stood up and reached across those social barriers that we had in 1951 and embraced this woman and it, it completely changed the dynamic. And so something as simple as that, these women weren't veterans of the ship, they were wives of sailors of the ship, but the social dynamic of that, is that not part of the story of the ship? And, and to me that is part of the story, that's the social dynamic of the story. And that's one small story and one small piece of what the Iowa has done worldwide for 70 years. I mean, we, we touched in the 80s, the ship went and, and touched uh, countries with their, with their outreach, what's called Comrel today, community relations, their outreach and restoring community centers and restoring communities. That's not just the story of the Iowa, that's the story of what we've done as Americans to help our fellow neighbors. And to me, that's what the ship in, embodies. And when you take today's generation, I see the ship as a, a passage as a, a, a starting passage to open that door to what we are all proud to be a part of as, as a community of Americans, what we're all proud to in this country, and why other, other countries and other people look at this, uh, look at America as, as what it is for its freedoms and, and, and all of these things.